In this video tutorial, I wanted to show how to create shadow range diagrams like this one shown here, similar to what you can do in Ecotect for example, but here you have the option of have dynamic views, so if I change something here, it will change the shadow range diagram showing here. These kind of functionalities could have been nice to have in Vasari, but in Vasari it's not possible to create sheets, so this is only possible in Revit. First of all, there is some limitations. It can only be shown in planar views. It's not possible to have it created like in 3D perspective views. It will not create shadows on top of the buildings because this is six views put on top of each other. So each building will hide the shadows from the underneath views. To create these, I do it from the 3D views. So if I have a 3D views like this, create it into a top view by clicking on the view cube and I maybe don't want to have the sun path visible so I can hide this in the sun down here and say sun path off. But I want to have the shadows so that should be turned on and before I go into copying each of these views I also should specify which kind of visual style. I prefer to have some hidden line or could also have shaded and have white surfaces on your model then you will have this kind of result. And then I duplicate each view, just duplicate and rename them to something uh, logic. For example, if I want to do some spring studies of this proposal, I could call it 3D context spring at nine o'clock, for example. And then I go in and specify the time on day by clicking on the sun path icon and say sun settings, selecting the still solar study. And as you can see, I created for June each time steps but in this example I want to do it for the spring. At the moment I cannot create a new one or copy an existing one. Then I just have to click on some of the others down here and I could click on June at nine o'clock and then press duplicate and call this instead of June. I could call it April at nine, press okay. And then specify the date and time over here. Go back to April the 21st and make sure the time is the same as the written name. Makes it easier when you select it. And then I copy this as many times I want to have shadow steps. So I maybe also want to have the April at 10. And this is also a very good thing to know. I should start with the lowest number like 9 and then they will understand the next step would be 10 o'clock. And of course I need to change the time over here manually and then I just go on so I have all the time steps I want to create. Let's just have four time steps in this example. Press OK. Oh, I should make sure I have chosen April at nine because this view here should be at nine. And before I'm copying it, I should edit the transparency of the shadows. And for that, I can go to graphic display, go to lightning. And under the lightning here, we have the shadows. 10 is typically a good amount of gray and transparency to the shadows. When you have a lot of shadows on top of each other, then it will be quite dark because they are transparent. So it should be low and you will see that it's light gray now, but that's, uh, that's fine or else it will be too dark. And then I just go on and copy this view as many time steps as I need. So this one should be at 10 o'clock and changing the time for the lightning. So when I've created it, I can select it menu here and select April at 10 and then it will remember these. That's why I said you should look for this before you copy it. And I can create one more here, change the graphical display to 11 and rename it as well at 11. And the last one in this example should be at 12 o'clock and rename it as well. So first time there is some work to do by setting all this up but you could also build this into a template so you don't have to do it each time so now i have four time steps here and i need to create a sheet to put these views on so i go to sheet and right click say new sheet selecting a template that fits to what you need without any title blocks is empty and then i will starting dragging these 3d views down to the sheet like just doing like this and place it. So at the moment these views are in 1 to 200 and maybe they should have been 1 to 500. I should have been aware of this before I started copying the different views but I can do it after of course. Another tip if you don't like to have this title with line 
you can just select another one in the properties when you have selected the view say no title and I need to do this with all of these four views and the smart thing here that is it recognizes the central point of each of these views so it will fit exactly on top of each other another thing you need to do that is as I said to create this shadow pattern you need to hide the ground surface or else you cannot see the shadows underneath the ground surface so I will just go in and edit this in this view by right click activate view selecting the ground surface say hide in view this element and then we can see the different shadows and right click again go back to the sheet level and drag the other ones on to the sheet and they should also be 1 to 500 and remove the title bar and go in and hide the ground surface deactivate view and as you can see it will snap with these blue lines and little by little you will create this nice shadow patterns and the last one same procedure 1 to 500 remove the title bar place it on top of the other one activate the view so you can hide the bottom surface and deactivate view and finally when you have created these sheets and views you can go in and work and have real-time feedback on the shadow pattern when you are modeling tiles my views here by going to view and tile to create a new mask go to masking and site in Revit selecting in place mask giving a name could call it mask 1 and in here I could just create a simple mask in this example just draw on the level 1 the lowest level and create a shape by selecting the lines and press create form and then just say finish mask and then we can see here when I go in and change the volume it will update over here on the sheet with the different views. And this way I can have a real-time feedback on the shadow patterns.